Bellator 250, live on CBS Sports Network from the Mohegan Sun Arena. We started things out at 185 with Dalton Rasta and Ty Gwerder. We knew coming into this fight that Dalton Rasta as an undefeated fighter and Ty Gwerder starting to feel his oats in the Bellator cage was gonna be just a barn burner. You see Gwerder going after him with the flying knee. Rasta uses that to take him down. Rasta landed good, big, heavy shots throughout this fight. Got in to Gwerder. Took him to the ground, did good work, but Werner always worked himself out of bad situations. In the end, it was the times that Dalton Rasta got Werner down and landed big shots, good positioning, gets the back, wins a unanimous decision victory, well earned by Hercules Dalton Rasta. Next up, a battle at 145. Brandon Gertz, a featherweight for the first time in his Bellator career, taking on Henry O.K. Corrales. We knew it was gonna be a barn burner with big shots thrown, and they both definitely threw heavy leather throughout this fight, but it was the technicality of Henry Corrales and that low leg kick that he continuously landed throughout the fight, eating up the lead leg of Brandon Gertz. It was the difference maker in this fight. Gertz, knowing that he was behind in the fight, feeling that in the third round, went after him. But Corrales kept landing that straight left and right. Split decision victory for Henry Corrales. Nice win. Then our main event of the evening for the Bellator Middleweight World Championship, Gay Garden Usasi, Douglas Lima scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Five five-minute rounds with two guys that have fought so many fights, championship rounds. Douglas Lima gets taken down by Gegard Musasi early in the fight. Gegard did a lot of good work from the guard. But when it got to the next round, Gegard had a little bit more trouble getting Douglas down, and Douglas started landing some of those heavy leg kicks that he's so well known for. That leg kick started doing damage. You could see the damage to Gegard's leg, but it was in the fifth round when Gegard got that takedown, stopped the damage, and wins a unanimous decision victory. And now, the Bellator middleweight champion of the world, Gegard Mousasi. For all your Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. Fists will fly. Unbelievable. When knockout artist Melvin No Mercy Manoff returns to the cage to take on Corey Overtime Anderson. Good night. Live and free, Bellator MMA on CBS Sports Network.